Okay, stand by. As Americans celebrate this joyful season, it gives me great pleasure to send heartfelt greetings to the members of the United States Armed Forces. Traditionally, this is a time to gather around the hearth with loved ones, to celebrate and give thanks for the peace and abundance with which God has blessed our great land. But in the midst of these good times with family and friends, the American people have not forgotten those who are protecting our way of life. The security that our armed forces provides ensures our freedom and protects all we cherish. That's quite a gift you're giving, and you can be certain we appreciate it. All of you could have taken paths other than the military life. During Yuletide, the sacrifices you're called upon to make seem more acute, most especially for those who must spend the holiday season away from home and family. But each of you understands the importance of your job and that your readiness and vigilance must never be relaxed. The professionalism and spirit with which you maintain our country's defense are sources of deep and abiding pride in the hearts of all Americans. To you who willingly shoulder that burden, and to your families who stand beside you as you carry out your vital duties, I send the thanks of a grateful nation. No matter where you serve, your countrymen think of you. As your Commander-in-Chief, I'm proud to salute you. Nancy joins me in wishing you and your loved ones a wonderful holiday and health and prosperity in 1988. God bless you, and God bless America. Cut.